When I was in grade six, my principal said, Randell, you will never amount into anything. She said, Randell, you will never amount into anything. So I had to learn to climb before I learned to walk. See, she told me. She told me that making it to the top was impossible. But see, I was on a mission. Neighborhood government houses had me boxed in, chasing dreams like obstacles. I was just trying to get ahead, but I had to keep it logical. See, in my neighborhood, hearts were as cold as popsicles that drip like dreams because some teens can't take the heat of being cool. I said, in my neighborhood, hearts were as cold as popsicles that drip like dreams because some teens can't take the heat of being cool. Some teens can't take the pressure of not fitting in, of being too thick or too thin. See, society has so much expectations. So I'm just here to give a voice to the voiceless. And I remember being 17. I remember being 17 and I was stabbed in my back. I was stabbed in my back twice by some brothers who were just moving backwards in life. But that night, I realized something. I realized that we suffer to inspire. 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 Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Can I get you guys all to say, I am beautiful? I am beautiful. And own it. Really mean it and say, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. And beautiful to me, I'm a wordsmith, so beautiful means be beautiful. It means be yourself. You know, the media is always telling us how to live, how to act, and who to be. The best way to live is just to be yourself, right? So um, as I said, I'm the founder of a movement called Rise of Entertainment. Uh, it was founded based on the principle of, you know, being able to suffering and turning my sufferings into inspiration. Um, I grew up in a community housing where uh, there was a lot of negative things going on, a lot of crime, things of that sort. And I was able to use poetry as a way to express myself. I was angry. I was suspended numerous times. I was arrested more times than I can count. And the reason being, I wasn't able to express myself. Um, as I grew older, I had people who cared and reached out to me and seen something inside of me that I didn't quite see. Um, just to fast, fast track a little bit, when I graduated high school, um, I had an opportunity to go to India, Las Vegas, Orlando, all within doing community activism. When I graduated, I was valedictorian of my class. I won five awards. And it's just being able to, to realize that you're able to take something negative and turn it into something positive, right? So that's the gist of what I'm here to present with you, to you today. So um, I have a, po a poem I'm going to share. It's called The Sky Has No Limits, all right? See, the sky, the sky has no limits. See, society, societies infringe at rich politicians with visions of keeping the poor in prison and the rich innocent. But those poor, innocent immigrants, immigrants innocent, in no sense are we criminals. But political visuals keep us victim to the system we live in, see, bankers. Bankers only, uh, bankers only interested in interest. See, they're pimping 50 cents for many men. And many men lack common sense. But see, sense, sense isn't as common, so why do we call it common sense? See, me, I live, let me free, can't let thee, laws limit me, so I let thee, holy one, holy son, limit me from these sinful deeds. Let me ask you guys a quick question. If your dreams were on Facebook, would you add them? Then how many mutual friends would you have then? Ambition, dedication, commitments, would you have any privacy restrictions? Why do we put ceilings on dreams when life has no walls? Why do we choose to text when opportunity calls? Do we only get high when we fall? Get out of your box. Why do we look through the peephole when opportunity knocks? My people, the values that you bring to this planet are far more important than the fears that impede you. My people, the values that you bring to this planet are far more important than the fears that impede you. See, living your dream is like a battle of good versus evil. See, you want it, but procrastination has you fetal. See, human life by nature, human life by nature must be dedicated to something. So imagine dying to live when you are living for nothing. I said the sky. The sky has no limits. See, society, societies infringe at rich politicians with visions of keeping the poor in prison and the rich innocent. Hello, my friends. I want, to, I want to break something down for you. Eh? Some of us, we are living our life, and we have no purpose in our life. Can you hear me? You have to live your life with purpose, okay, my friends? Can you repeat after me? I have to live my life with purpose. Because, because the sky has no limits. Societies infringe at rich politicians with visions of keeping the poor in prison and the rich innocent. See, I've come to realize that the place you'll find the most amount of dead dreams is buried in a cemetery, buried beneath broken bones, basking beyond broken thrones. You are kings and queens, so own your kingdom. But see, death, death don't care where you're from or tombstone. Life only cares about the dash in between. So if it means giving up your own dreams to plant fruitful seeds, then by all means, by all means necessary, cemeteries are filled with dreams killed. So until you reach, be meek to your mill. You cannot diagnose this disease with pills. See, life, life is not a grocery store, no frills. And I only worship oneness, no mill. So love your neighbor like you love yourself. And love together like the hole in your belt. See, there's an elephant in this room. And it's your dream. 
lace it, embrace it, faith it, chase it. If it doesn't work out, replace it, but be patient because the sky, the sky has no limits in society. Societies infringe at rich politicians with visions of keeping the poor in prison and the rich innocent. Thank you. So you guys can feel free. I'm just going to share my last piece. You guys can feel free to snap. You know, usually in a poetry scene, you can snap a little bit, feel good about yourself, you know. I wasn't hearing no snaps, you know. So if you can just have that correlation, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So thank you. And for this last affirmation, I'm very big on affirmations. I love affirmations. Uh, this last affirmation I have to share, um, I met the president of General Motors, and he has two daughters. His eldest daughter graduated from uh, a big Ivy League school, and she's now hired by the third largest law firm in all of North America. His second daughter goes to York University, and she has one of the highest grade point averages at York University. He used to tell them from when they were yay high. He would ask them, what are you? They would have to respond, I am excellent. And they would, he would ask, why? They would have to say, because I am capable. So, you know, these affirmations of just reminding ourselves that we are ex excellent simply because we are capable, all right? So something that, you know, just keep with you, all right? Um, my last piece is called Art, Art is Power. In its essential core, it is the beat of our community. It is a bloodline that keeps us going. It is the ink in our veins. It is the medicine to our pain. It is the paintbrush stroke of God that paints our perfect canvas, see art. Art has a way of drawing the best out of us. It is a graffiti on a red brick wall from a 16-year-old who just wants to spray away his pain. It is a movement from the soles of our feet that reminds our souls that there are no limits, that there are no unreachable feats in life. See, art is a way of connecting to our higher selves, expressing what conversation sometimes fails to do. It is a way of finding ourselves, because without it, we are lost, like that troubled 13-year-old boy I once was, because we had no access to resources. And community centers were trying to make programs for us, but not with us. They neglected our interests. See, art is bridging the gap between opportunity and community for youth to walk into an orchestrated future. It is a sense of self-knowing. It is powerful. It is the lead in the pencil that keeps a leader leading. It is a way of being, it keeps us from being marginalized between the lines. Writing has enabled me to do the right thing, making me aware of the issues in my community. In its essential core, it is the beat of our community. It is a bloodline that keeps us going. It is the ink in our veins. It is a medicine to our pain. It is a paintbrush stroke of genius that paints our perfect canvas. See, art is life. Art is God, molding itself into the perfect clay. Art is today. It is tomorrow. It is eternal. It is now. Art is activism, so call us art of this. It is the moving of mountains. It is the pyramids of Egypt. It is the liberty of building statues. It is the architecture of our minds. It is the neurons in our brains that helps us maintain. It is the way the sun kisses the foreheads of trees. It is gentle ripples in the oceans. See, art is the flow of life. Art, an artist's imagination flies in the skies and you simply cannot cage it up because in its essential core, it is the beat of our community. It is a bloodline that keeps us going. It is the ink in our veins. It is a medicine to our pain. It is a paintbrush stroke of God that paints our perfect canvas. See, art is life. Art is me. Art is you. So be you to full. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, sir.